Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today I made a watercolor fairy. Now, I know a lot of people are asking me how to draw a basic fairy. Well, this is as basic as I can get, and it's not Tinkerbell or any of her pixie friends. It's just a fairy, and you can use the same stance and use her to build up your own fairy and just easy wings. And I just always thought it'd be fun to teach you guys how to draw a basic fa uh, fairy. This is a watercolor, and I will show you at the end a time lapse of how I would color with my watercolor on this particular fairy. In case you have any friends or family who love fairies, you can give this to them as a little gift. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna first start off with the face. So I'm gonna make the face go this way. And I always like to go ahead and give the nose line and the eye line. All right, so let's go ahead and lay some stuff out before we keep going into detail. So then I'm gonna jump down here underneath her chin and then I'm gonna jump back here and I bring down this side of her neck then I'm gonna bring out her overall top to her chest and her overall top of her body so I'm gonna go ahead and make then we're gonna jump down here we're gonna bring out this side All right, after that, let's go ahead and give her arms. So I'm gonna jump off to the side of my neck. And then I'm gonna circle back into her body. Now the whole entire body is a three quarter turn. So that means we're seeing more of this side of the body and this side of the face as opposed to this side. So we're gonna jump down from her neck right here and then bring out this arm gonna go out and circle back in after that I'm gonna go ahead and make the forearm on this side jump over here make the forearm here as well then I'm gonna jump below circle this back up to the top for her thigh and then we're gonna jump over here and then I'm gonna circle this top to her thigh like it's going outwards in a dancing kind of pose. And then I'm gonna make this part of her calf and go up into the thigh that we just made. And then I'm going to make just a circle for her foot area going down. Then I'm gonna jump back over here, make this calf area and then I'm gonna make another circle going this way. All right, so we basically have everything laid out. So let's zoom in and take a little bit more, a closer look at this detail. So let's shape up this face just a little bit more. I'm gonna bring down this side, bring out her chin to the where that line is, and just circle a little bit more, giving it a little bit more proportion. Then I'm going to make a basic nose. And then I'm gonna jump up on the eye line. I'm going to make one oval. And then I'm gonna jump off to the side and make this oval. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give this pupil iris area over here. And then this pupil iris area over there. Now for her nose, her nose ridge will be going alongside of her eye. Go out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and just give her a nostril. After that, I'm just gonna make a, a simple smile. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make the bottom lip. here so 
So for her eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and give her a pupil here. I mean, a shine here and a shine here. I'm going to make her pupil. And then for her eyelashes, I'm going to go up and connect to the side. Fill those in, just make them one solid line, like butterfly wings. And the same over here. I'm just going to make that that way. Then I'm going to make an eyebrow right here by just making a line, squaring off the edge here, as well as here. Then I'm going to bring down her neck a little bit more into her body, and I'm going to round this off to the side, round it down, and inwards. Bring out this shoulder, and this one will go in to the top of her arm. And of course, we're gonna go out. For her ear, we're gonna go make a go out from the side of her eye, round this down, and curve back into her ear. Then I'm gonna jump on the side, bring in this side of her face, and then curve down forehead and then I'm going to jump up here and just make a couple of areas. So I'm going to make a couple of hills going into this part right here and then I'm going to jump. Bring down this side. So I'm going to make one curl here going outwards and I'm going to jump right here and make another curl so I'm going to go off to the side of the bottom right here, curl this outwards and give curls, more curls and I'm going to jump on the side here, give a little curl here, curl going in this way. So a curl here and then a curl here going into the mass of curls. And then I'm gonna jump right here in the middle of these two spots and make a flower. So I make a circle. Pedal, 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 and a pedal. From here, I'm gonna make another line going out and then in. I'm gonna curve this in and then I'm gonna bring in by going in and then out and then I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna go make an M so down to this side then up and then back down to the her, her back. And then I'm gonna make another flower. So I'll put center of the flower here. Make one petal, one petal, 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 petal. And then we're gonna make a belt going into this flower. One big leaf off to the side. Go out. So this is right, we're gonna go in and just connect and make these a little bit more fluid. Fluid. So connect those. Now let's get to her hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the general shape of what my hands are going to do. So I'm gonna make the thumb. So it goes out with the thumb. You're gonna make a thumb going out and then back into the hand. Gonna curve inside, make the pointer finger, and then I'm gonna make another finger here, another finger here, and then the pinky will go on the outside. I'm gonna curve this in so that's pointer finger then the middle finger, and then the ring finger, and then the pinky finger, and the thumb. This is a way of cheating, so I don't have to draw the entire hand. And 
it's just an easier way to draw hands. Then let's jump over to this arm. So we have the top of the arm here. Going into the forearm. Now I'm gonna make the over general shape of the hand. So we're gonna make the thumb. So it goes out and then back in. Then we're gonna make one finger. Bring out, push these down. So I'm gonna make the middle finger. So the pointer finger goes out from the thumb, middle finger out, ring finger out, and pinky finger in. Back to her dress, you're gonna go down, bring out her skirt. So it's gonna go out, make a petal, then make another petal. Another petal. Another petal, and then I'm gonna jump on the other side and make another petal off to the, over here. from her knee, so this would be her knee, so from her calf, make this smooth going down, go on the other side to find the other side of the calf, and then go in for the ankle, same with over here, this would be the knee, you're going to go out with the calf. in at the knee and out with the calf. Then you're gonna come down around here. So you're gonna make the bottom of your foot and then you're gonna make where your toes are in and up. So we have one shoe here. So we're gonna bring in the bottom right here. So it goes out and in. Same over here, you're gonna bring out the bottom of her foot, round it in, you're gonna round off the top of her shoe, curve off the bottom as well. So she's in this ballerina pose almost. Now the number one common mistake I see with fairies is how their rings are proportioned. The best advice I can give you is, once again, we're seeing more of this side as opposed to this side. So when we make the wing, I'm just gonna draw straight through at the bottom of her neck and the top of her shoulder. I'm gonna go out and it's going to be a big wing and I'm just gonna go right back to where that other where her wing would be positioned on her back. And then I'm gonna draw through her again, bring out this side. So there's the bottom of the wing, and then going to draw through her hair again, but this side will be smaller than this side. It will not be equal. So this one's gonna go out, and it's going to be smaller since her body is turned. So I'm gonna go out in the middle of her shoulder go out, point, and then go back in. And then this one won't be as big as this side, but I'm gonna go back and under and connect. So there's a big, big thing, I, like as a big piece of advice I can give you is that your wings won't be equal on each side. So this one's not gonna match this size. This one's gonna be smaller as opposed to this side because everything else we're seeing more of on this side instead of here. And I would definitely put her hair in front. So I'm gonna go ahead, line this and watercolor this just to show you guys how I would color this fairy.
And there you guys go. There's a short, quick little tutorial on how to make a fairy. But yes, I just hope you guys will take this into consideration when making an easy fairy. This is always a good place to start and just build up from here. And I hope you guys have the most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.